right, Beyond the Blue RC. I'm gonna run my Vatera C10 today. Do a uh, couple speed passes and just have some fun. Here we go. All right, here we go. Those fans are loud. Go, come on. Try not to hit that. Try not to hit that manhole cover right there. Because that will just launch this thing. Oh. So I definitely need to come from down there so that I and I still feel like my steering is too, too, uh, not dialed down enough. I think I need to dial it down some more. Yeah, let's dial it down. I don't want to dial it down too much, but it's just when this car is just a smaller, no, it's one tenth, but oh, it's just steering is still touchy, even with it, even with it dialed down. That is full, full throttle. Can't hold it for very long. Thought I'd try this, this spot. It's not too bad. All right, we'll do one more. See what we uh, see what we get for top speed. I don't want to go too far. I don't trust this transmitter that much. That's DX2 is not the best when it comes to range. And I was in, I was in it full throttle for about uh, two or three seconds that time. That's full throttle right there. And it's not. Let's not do that. All right, I, I got to do one more. Famous last words, but I gotta do one more. Come on, SDX2, stay with me. Don't lose signal. Whoop, get in it. Full throttle. There we go. That's full throttle for good. Gosh, three or four seconds. All right, let's see what my. Uh, See what my top speed was. All right, looks like 46 top speed for today. So not too bad considering this stretch of road is not not that long. So I got up to 46 on this little stretch of road. So it's not bad. All right, just gonna have a little fun here. Kind of showing the handling. Kind of like it with the, uh, the steering dialed down. It power slides better. And like you know, Still handles really good, even on uh, 
brushless power running a 3S 5000 Ma 30C Spectrum Smart Wipo. I have a 50C, but it's uh, needs some adapters. It's got the uh, it's for my felony. It's got the bigger connectors on it. It's got the IC5s on it. So I do want to run those 50Cs in this, but I need adapter. Run this. I haven't gotten around to uh, buying an adapter. I don't run this truck enough. Especially as I just painted this body this summer, I'm trying to keep this body nice. I really shouldn't be doing speed runs with it, but... Uh, it, uh, visibility-wise, it's so much better than the, uh, the black C10 body that I have, so... I really like the black C10 body just because of the visibility-wise. The visibility drawbacks of it. The body itself fine. It's a nice body. It's just... I did wreck it a bit. I did crash it, that's not entirely true. It did dent up the uh, rear quarter panel pretty good. And uh, the grill is pretty scuffed up pretty bad, bruised up. But considering the rollover I did, I, um, when I did mess that body up, it's actually, um, could have been a lot worse. Could have been a lot worse. A lot worse. And that kind of pothole is what I hit. When I went end over end, front over butt that time this summer. It likes to kick up rocks. From where I don't know, I don't see rocks, but it likes to kick them up. She's got some uh, low end torque, that's for sure. Even geared up to. Uh, what do I got in this thing? I think I have a 20, 28 tooth pinion in it, I think. 28 or 29. I have a 32 pinion. That's about as high as the gearing will go in this car on the stock motor mount. I thought about running the felony out here, but I don't think, I don't really think this, uh, these, uh, this road is uh, nice and smooth. I like that part. They just redid it, but the uh, it's kind of skinny. I want a little more room. I have that golf course spot I usually go to. I think I'm going to stick to that as far as running the felony. I haven't had a chance to get the felony out. I have a light kit I need to install on it. I just don't really want to run it until I get that light kit in it. It makes it easier to see, especially when I'm doing speed runs. Pretty much have light kits on all my vehicles just for that reason. My eyes aren't the best, so it just helps me see the vehicle, especially when it gets down there a bit. This helps me a lot. Helps me a lot. All right, let's uh, let's turn the steering all the way up. having too much fun and almost doing something really not smart. That just goes to show you this special road is um there we go. That's kind of what I was trying to do. I don't really want to burn up these foamies, these foam tires on that, which I will do doing that. Boy, that was fun though. I do have another set of rears. <laughs> Alright. 
That's enough of that. Alright. About to do one more pass or two around this corner here. Especially kind of like the way the lights hitting it and where the headlights are kind of popping right now because it's getting the sun's starting to set. So kind of digging that. Alright, let's try this. This truck does not like to handle so well coming this way, but it feels alright. Kind of wants to go into the curb. But coming back. That was nice. Just wants to go. Just wants to go left. Try that again. Just wants to go around that corner. so I don't put it in the curb again. One more pass. I don't really feel like feel like carrying this back. I don't have to. Full sure throttle pass there. Oops. That's what I'm talking about. Not doing that. Little mats are coming out and starting to get annoying. Definitely time to uh, time to wrap it up here. Right? Ooh, I kind of like how that handles on this little bank right here. That's kind of cool. I think that's gonna do it for this video please like subscribe smash that bell keep on RCing out there